Alright then everyone, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So in this episode, I'm going to be grabbing a whole pile of stuff from South Figaro, and also talking to Garrett, which is necessary to progress, otherwise he won't show up in the cave when I need him to bypass the turtle later, so... Can't have any of that happen. This should be a lot nicer than the last segment, because... There's almost no one there. There's even less people than the world balance of Figaro, so that's just making it a piece of cake. Uh, Alright. So yeah, basically I just memorized that area around the relic shop spatially because that one's really easy. Sometimes it's easier just to remember what it looks like and than to remember an exact pattern. That's definitely one of those cases. Walk up the staircase, and I should hit the corner here. It's important to remember that there is a corner here for later. So yeah, this is going to be pretty straightforward, probably. So I run all the way down. Should hit a wall. And now there's a bump in the area for some reason. I have to walk one step up to go around it. So one step up and around it. And I'll get an indicator after I get to the other side pretty much of where I am. Oh, I hope I didn't mess up my controller movements there. So yeah, that should be enough hopefully. Don't have to wait half an hour on every time I do something now. There we go. So as long as I'm careful, I can go up and right and talk to Garrod. And yes, I went far enough, so let's just do the menu trick. Fairly straightforward segment, as I've said a couple times now. Now I can go down and left a whole bunch, which will lead me straight out of the room, and then I'll be walking well on my way to the other side of the room again. I don't want to go through the cafe. That place is annoying. I had my fill of it the first time I was when I was in South Figaro during lock scenario and I don't think I need to go back there again. I, th I think their fries are pretty bad and like the pizza there stinks as well so it's just not a good place. Alright so this should probably be enough. One, two, to get out of that dip in the floor and then to get around to that bump that I had to get around earlier. So now I walk back to the left and now when I go up I'm going to hit the corner. So. <coughs> so now I go up. Hit the corner. Right up to get around there. I go back down the stairs, and now I run into this uh, notch back here. It's, you can't really see back there, but it doesn't make a difference either way for me. Uh, so hit the thing. One step to the left, all the way down. I can't just go left and down, because if I do that, I mean, I did go left and down after a fashion, but I can't just alternate between it because otherwise I'll be running off into the middle of nowhere. So yeah, I get an indicator of where I am every few seconds to going through South Figaro, but... So, so that makes it really easy, to be honest. Because I can always keep track of where I am. So this brings me down to here. So now I can run upwards into the Chocobo Stable. run to the side of the building, and unlike the World of Balance, I don't have to worry about taking two steps right here because there's no NPCs around, they're not going to get in my way, unless somebody really hightailed it down here. And talking to Garrett first is really nice. Thankfully the thankfully the inn's so close to the beginning of South Figaro, because if I don't talk to Garrett first, there's a lot more NPCs running around up top, so I have to deal with more of them. There's my door, walk out the door one step right, all the way down. Now I can run into the riverbank, 
to make sure that that one NPC with the pink shirt doesn't mess with me. It's not really a huge deal, but it could happen. Walk all the way to the right, and this is where that other thief would likely be getting in my way if he was still around, if I hadn't talked to Garrod yet. There is a kid over there, but he's usually down a little, a little bit farther down, so hopefully he shouldn't be a big deal. That should probably be far enough. One step left, all the way up. Hello, weapon shop. Hello, weapon shop owner. Bye. Two enhancers. Those uh, boost magic power by 7, and they also happen to boost magic evasion by 20, and thanks to the M evade bug, that really kicks butt. However, uh, the magic stat will likely not be of serious use in an LLG. Because neither Celeste nor Edgar. I think Terra's the last person who can equip it. None of them are going to be doing any serious magicing, I don't think. We'll see, I'm not 100% sure on that. Depends on what order I do stuff in, for one. I can tell when I get there because I can press A and grab the thing in that crate. Which... I don't remember. <laughs> There's also another treasure in a par barrel up top, to the top left of here. But that would take a while to get, and it's just a phoenix down, so it's like, why bother? It's kind of out of the way. The X potion was the only thing I really wanted. It's the only thing here that's really valuable, besides the enhancers. But, either way, I needed to do a segment because I needed to talk to Garrod. All the way to the left. That should be good enough. And we're out. Easy as pie. That only took like seven and a half minutes. Short segment, but... After Nikea being such a pain in the butt, and also the fact that I'm going through the, uh... The whole of the Cave of South Figaro plus Figaro combo next episode, I think it's fine to leave it there. So, see you next time.